My great ancestors had an expression. An ending's beginning ends the beginning of the end of another beginning's end. If my great ancestors weren't so long-winded, that might have been the motto of this company. After all, here at Eerily Departed, we're in the business of new beginnings from other endings. Come, I'll show you what I mean. The airport is full of people coming and going, but today, there were some unplanned departures. I can't tell you where this woman planned to go, but it's obvious now where she be headed. As you can see, a good sense of humor is especially important in this line of work, so imagine, if you can, what a wickedly bad one can do for you. Lester, back again so soon. This is like your fourth trip here today with that old meat wagon of yours. What's the story? What can I say, Melvin? My business is, shall we say, picking up. Good one, Lester. Come in. I'll let the boss know that you're here. What? So soon. Have Johnny meet him this time. I'll stop by later. Hi, you must be Lester. I'm Johnny. The boss sent me down here to meet with you. That's too bad, Johnny. You don't want to get mixed up in all this. After I open this door, heads are gonna roll. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. But look at this mess. Here, let me give you a hand with that. She's Lester. You're quite handy yourself with those puns. Excuse me, can you please direct me to the morgue? Hey, I'm not dead. Oh, very well then. Never mind. Hey Lester, look, this one looks just like you. Maybe you should hold on to it as a spare. Oh, Johnny, that's very kind of you to offer. But you really shouldn't let me get ahead of myself. If you insist. I just thought it would be sporting to let you save face. Johnny, I like your style. You're all right. Uh, good. You are both still here. How are you getting along? Just fine, boss. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Lister, Johnny is going to be helping out with the night shift. I should have guessed. I think we'll be in good hands. And good arms, legs, heads and torsos too. Okay. Okay, enough of that you two. Remember to put these heads in before you head out. Hello there. This is the part where I tell you something profound about life transitions, and then drive off into the sunset. So let me offer this. My parents used to tell me not to count my chickens before they hatched. We never had chickens, then we got our eggs from the supermarket. So I'm confident that the number of chickens I could have counted would have been exactly zero. But I think what they meant is this. Chickens are extraordinarily unreliable. Here's my sunset. So long and try to stay in one piece. Are we there yet?